Gary Mallory here for SB Nation and PrideDetroit.com. Lions general manager Martin Mayhew has been so successful in his short tenure in the NFL as the head honcho that his name has now become a verb. You often hear people say, you've just been Mayhew, or the Lions are Mayhewing this player. But what actually does that mean? Well, we're going to give you the exact definition, breaking down what it means to be Mayhew. Now, he does this in several ways, either through free agency, the draft, through trades. Today, we're going to focus in on free agency and his rookie contract signings. We'll give you a definition, we'll give you a video example, and we'll give you real-life examples with some of the players who have been Mayhew. So, sit back and relax and enjoy the ride. Mayhew. Alternate forms, Mayhews, Mayhewed, Mayhewing. To entice one to give up draft picks or player value in exchange for lesser value. To swindle one out of player talent or draft value. Now that we have the definition out the way, let's look at an example of just how he's been able to hone his skills, how he's mastered the art of the bluff. 2-7 offsuit? Man, I've got nothing. But you know what? I'm Mayhew. I'm going all in, guys. Watch him fold, baby. So what are some actual examples of Martin Mayhew Mayhewing some players in the NFL, current Detroit Lions? Let's see. We go back to the 2009 draft where Matthew Stafford was our number one target. However, there seemed to be a snag in negotiations. What did Mayhew do? Did he call his bluff? Was he actually considering Aaron Curry? We don't know, but we started to negotiate with Aaron Curry, actually having a deal in place in the event that Stafford and his crew would not be willing to sign for the numbers that we were wanting to sign him for. What happened? Well, obviously, we landed our franchise quarterback in Matthew Stafford. We go back to this offseason. Marcus McNeil coming to town. Could he potentially be our new left tackle? Well, we wanted to bring back Jeff Backus, but contract negotiations began to stall. What happens? Marcus McNeil comes in, and magically, Jeff Backus is back in the fold. Two years, around $5.8 million. Middle linebacker, Stephen Tulloch. We want him back. Uh, he is our centerpiece there in the linebacking corps, but reportedly he wanted six years at least and at least six million a year. A little bit too rich for the Detroit Lions blood. So what do we do? Well, we go with a backup plan or a bluff. I don't know, whatever you want to call it, and Mayhew was being Mayhew, and we bring in David Hawthorne, middle linebacker, for a visit. Well, before he even reaches town to Detroit, Michigan, as he is on the plane, Stephen Tulloch gets win, and what happens? We sign Tulloch for a five-year deal worth $25 million. Sorry, Hawthorne. Enjoy your visit in Detroit. It's probably going to be about 30 minutes. We're sending you on a plane back somewhere else because Stephen Tulloch just got Mayhewed and he's back in the fold for five years. So there you have it, guys. I really think the best is yet to come. Uh, he's still new on the job, and so far the returns have been positive. We're no longer comparing him to Matt Millen. I mean, after all, anyone would have been better than Millen. We're now comparing him with all the other 32, or we'll say 31, NFL GMs. And right now he's ranking near the top, taking a team that was 0-16. Now they're 10-6. and They have tons of talent, and they're keeping some of the main guys in the fold. So... What do you think about it? Uh, what are some of your favorite examples of where Martin has Mayhewed people? What are some potential Mayhewing events you would like to see occur in free agency or in the draft? Leave your comments right there below. You know what to do. If you haven't subscribed, do that also. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. As always, this has been Jerry Mallory for SB Nation and PrideDetroit.com.